I think that all parents have the same hopes and dreams for their children. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong if you're parents here, but we hope and pray that our children grow up healthy and safe, that they succeed in life, that they do good, they're kind, they help others, and they grow up to, a, to live a life that's better and easier than the life that we live. That's basically what our dreams are. And then maybe most of all, we hope, we pray, that our children are happy and they find someone to love and someone to love them. Aaron and Jennifer have found each other. So as a parent, we're very pleased. And we're celebrating their love this weekend. Whenever you're ready, you can either walk up to them and tap them or you can just turn around or whatever you can do. And y'all just enjoy each other. Jennifer, your mom and dad would be very proud of you, but most of all, their hearts would be full to know that you have found such a ha happiness with Aaron, Ray, and Heather. So I know you guys are gonna have an amazing life together and I'm just really honored to be a part of this and I'm just really thankful to be included and I just really can't wait to see your life together and get to grow with y'all. Um, Jennifer and Aaron, you will always be family to Dion and I. <laughs> so here, here it goes, I told you. <laughs> and our family. Um, and we wish you nothing but happiness. I know, I know, stop. Happiness and love for all of the years to come. Um, she has waited to get what she wants, and um, she has found Aaron and he has proven to be her perfect match. And I'm just so very happy that she has found Aaron, that they have found each other. I'm so excited that I get to see where y'all go from here as a couple. I love you both very much, and I and all of us will always be there for you. step into an unknown future 
It's risking who we are for the sake of who we can be. In marriage, two lives are intimately shared and blending of the two must not diminish either one. Rather, it should enhance the individuality of each partner. I'm sorry I cannot be at your wedding to say a few words as a loving godmother and de facto aunt should. I want to wish you both so much happiness in your future life together. I know you already love each other because that is self-evident. Love is at the heart of everything, not just intimate love, but love for each other and other people. Make it a priority and you won't go wrong. person that you've chosen to spend your life with, I want you to know that statistically speaking that is also most likely to be the person to bail you out of jail. Okay? You are looking at the person who is going to get the money together for you. They are going to call the attorney, okay? They have your back when you are jammed up and that is wonderful. Everyone should have that identifiable person that they can point to and say, that's what I'm calling if I'm arrested. Also know that statistically speaking, um, they are most likely to be the responsible party in the event that you should disappear or die under suspicious circumstances. If you turn up dead, you're looking at the prime suspect. Back in, back in the 1970s when uh, Fiona McDermott travelled over to the US um, she kind of changed the face of our family forever you know um, leaving behind so many disappointed Englishmen Thank you I just want to thank you for the love that you're sharing with all of us here and uh, I also want to thank all the Watts Ray, Fiona, Heather Aaron himself and on behalf of all of the immature us that have spent so many hours growing up in the Watts Garage basement instead of their own homes, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a privilege to be here and congrats, man.